Tom Yamas, let's take a look at where uh, the delegates stand as we're coming in tonight and how close the candidates are to that majority they need. Yeah, okay, right now, so, George, this is where we're at. Joe Biden has 133 delegates, Bernie Sanders at 93. This is about 48% of the delegates doled out so far, Bernie Sanders with 34%. Now, George, if you do the math and, and Joe Biden stays with 48% of the delegates going to Milwaukee, he shows up in the summer to the convention with about 1,911 delegates. He almost reaches that threshold. Bernie Sanders comes in with about 1,353. So he's about 600 shy of where he needs to be. Now, George, the big unknown, though, is California. This includes California at this pace. This race could completely change with California. It could also grow incredibly tight, too. Because Bernie Sanders had the biggest organization in the state of California, had spent the most time in California, was drawing huge crowds there as well. And the most delegates as well. He's also organized all over the state, so he's going to win at the state level and the district level. He'll get the share of the delegates, but we have to wait for California so far. Nate Silver, you had some projections of where the delegates are going to go tonight. What's the biggest surprises you're seeing out there? I think maybe the margin for Biden so far in Virginia, where it's 30 points, although Virginia is all election day voting. There's very little early voting there. In contrast, Colorado, it's all vote by mail. Therefore, if you had a late surge, that's a bad place to try to come back. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.